Legends, I hope you're all amazing. You just heard the one and only Virtual Jeff Pro in action, which is billed as a digital whammy bar or vibrato bar, as more civilized people might call it. But really, what it is, is a polyphonic pitch shifting system that lets you control the vibrato aspect of it using this, I'm going to call it a dongle on here that you stick to your guitar with removable adhesive. I'm using the little wireless add-on for this, which you can just kind of stick in your pocket, very similar to the way you might use an in-ears transmitter or receiver when you're playing live. So that would go in your pocket and then you'd plug your guitar as normal into the Virtual Jeff pedal. So you've got three foot switches on here, one to activate the effect. The middle selects between two presets. You can use these buttons up here to set the amount of shift up and down and then you've got a virtual capo mode over here you can plug in a trs foot switch to either of these jacks over here and access some pretty cool blend and hold features and we should hear it in a piece of music before we talk any more about it because it probably seems a little bit overwhelming and you probably have questions about why i mounted a digital whammy bar on my guitar that has a whammy bar on it but we'll get to that let's hear it <laughs> purposefully went for the more subtle settings on there. I was just setting this unit for a tone up and a tone down on there. One thing that I love about it is that because it's digital, it is super accurate. So when you pull the bar up, you get a perfect tone up. You don't have to worry about setting up your trem or anything like that, which does address the question I was talking about before. Why did I put this on my PRS, which has a trem, vibrato bar, whammy bar, whatever you want to call it. Well, I play this guitar live quite a bit, so I've actually blocked up the bar on it, so it doesn't do anything. So it was kind of nice to just stick this on and have the ability to have some wobble back in my playing on there. What I want to showcase next is the virtual capo mode. I'm going to play around at the end of this next clip, just kind of dropping it down a fifth, and it is polyphonic pitch shifting. You can go down or up, and I'll just do some more subtle stuff on here and play around with the hold function, which just basically means if you depress or pull the bar up and then you press your attached TRS foot switch on the hold function, then you can let go of the bar and it will stay down the amount that you set it to. So you can go up to two octaves down or an octave up if that's something you want to do. Let's hear that. <laughs> Thank you. 
So on the surface, it seems like you need the virtual bar aspect of it to use the virtual whammy bar. But of course, this is a polyphonic pitch shifter. So you can just plug any old guitar you like into this and use the virtual capo. I'm going to plug my Strat in here and play the little solo section from the Ragdoll song Rust. This was super weird because my Strat is not set up for widdly widdly stuff and I didn't really dial in an appropriate tone for it, but you can hear that it tracks super fast and super accurately with these licks. <laughs> You can of course mount this to an acoustic guitar if you wanted to and I had my very good friend the one and only Mr Ben Wilson over playing some finger style here and I ran them through my acoustic guitar with the virtual Jeff on there and they came up with a few things I'm just going to play a few things in like an open CSUS2 tuning to start out and then Ben is going to take over and just have a listen for the end of this clip where we use the virtual capo on acoustic with some reverb and this sounded like nothing I had ever heard before. a virtual whammy bar for your guitar it really is a great polyphonic pitch shifter and the ability to pitch up or down on this on acoustic guitar is going to be so handy for me there's been a lot of times recently where i've had to do last minute gigs where i'm playing acoustic guitar with singers who like to pitch songs up or down using a capo and the one thing that still consistently gets me to this day is every now and then I'll just absolutely butcher some open chords. You know, I'm off by a fret because I'm using a capo at the third fret or the fourth fret and I just haven't had enough time to practice the tunes there. 
I could just play those songs in standard tuning, take the virtual Jeff and pitch them up or even detune them a little bit and leave my acoustic guitar in one tuning. I do find that my Cole Clark in particular sounds great in standard, sounds great down a half step and it sounds pretty awful a whole step down. And of course, Ragdoll plays a whole step down and we play in drop C a lot and that guitar really struggles doing acoustic gigs for those songs. So it's kind of nice to have that option there if I want it. What I'm gonna do is play you all out with one more example. If you'd like to see me do a deep dive tweaking the virtual Jeff and actually kind of going into some of the settings and the overall flow, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to do that video. But for now, I'm gonna let you all hear it again. This is a backing track that I put together inspired by Rush's Between the Wheels, which is one of my favorite uses of a real world whammy bar on the original song. And I'm just gonna have a blast over this and get into it with Virtual Jeff. I set this up so that I could have a fourth down and a perfect fifth up and really have some big kind of less subtle pitch shift effects in there. But for me, this is gonna be perfect if you've got a hardtail guitar like an old Tele or a 335 or a Les Paul, and you want some subtle shimmer in your playing, or like I said, if you want a polyphonic pitch shifting pedal that can go down as well as up, or a situation like I was explaining before where I'm playing acoustic guitar and you know taking a real capo is just gonna throw my playing off too much, I can do it the easy way and plug this in. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, enjoy.